On roads just like these out in the open, we encountered about 15 undocumented immigrants, mostly women and children. And as you can see and hear, Border Patrol vehicles and helicopters are still out surveilling the area looking for others. Action 4 News was granted access to this private property just feet away from the Rio Grande River to witness the surge firsthand. This used to be green pasture, green grass. The owner, Lorenzo Anzaldúa Jr., tells us it's easier than ever for undocumented immigrants to illegally cross our border. They cross the river no more than five, six hundred meters away. And then they just, and then they just walk on the open road. Yeah, they want to get caught. Anzaldúa Jr. explains that the immigrants are not hiding anymore. They're walking up on the open paved roads, waiting to surrender and be picked up by Border Patrol agents. It just finished raining, and uh, so this is, this is probably from this morning. You see how all these footprints? They just wait here like, hello, we're waiting for the school bus, we're waiting for the bus so they can take us. And just two hours of waiting, with our cameras rolling, it happened just as Anzaldúa described. We witness a group of immigrants made up mostly of women and children walk right up the road, saying they're all from different countries and just happen to meet up along their journey. This woman is from El Salvador and tells us she's been traveling with her 15-month-old daughter for the last 15 days, hoping to reunite with family members in Atlanta. They explain that they're waiting for someone to pick them up or to be discovered by Border Patrol, whichever happens first. That didn't take long. Just minutes later, several Border Patrol vehicles arrived to round up the group. The immigrants did not appear concerned, but rather at ease that their long journey on foot appears to have come to an end. Anzal Dua explains that this is one of the many groups he's seen walk through the property. We're still human beings, so I smiled at her. But you have no right being here, lady. He doesn't agree with people illegally crossing the border to enter the United States. It's sad seeing young children making the trip in this South Texas heat. A year old boy, a little baby girl, plus there's a full grown cougar running around here. What chance do they have? So who's the real enemy? The parents that don't give a damn about their kids? Who would bring a kid in this weather outside? Okay, they just care about themselves. As a Border Patrol agent approached the group of undocumented immigrants, he told them the sooner that they provided their identification, the sooner they'd be transported to another location where they would be provided with food and water. South of Grand Heno, I'm Ashley Custer, Action 4 News.